This is my review of Street Fighters Assassin's Fist, which I finally finished watching. And after watching all 12 episodes, I must say, as I predicted, this this web series was um, pretty awesome. Way better than the Mortal Kombat Legacy web series they had. Um, while there's some differences, it was for the most part true to the Street Fighter um, video games. This, of course, is loosely based on, um, I think this is before Ryu, I think this is before Ryu and Ken entered the very, very first Street Fighter tournament, Street Fighter tournament, but I could have sworn I heard the, the producers of this somewhere say that this was based on uh, Street Fighter 1 and Street Fighter Alpha in the Street Fighter Alpha series, but this right here was good. The fight choreography was was awesome. Fight choreography was um awesome. The costume design, costume design was good, and of course um special effects were good. Special effects were good, and um I love the actors. I their names um escape me at the moment. I keep forgetting the guy who portrays Ryu, but he was awesome. He was a good replacement for John Fu, who I really wish they would have kept, but he had to go do something else. Um. I think the guy who plays Ken is named Christian Howard. He was awesome as um he was awesome as Ken Masters and I love the actor they got to play young um Akuma before young Akuma and um Ma and Master um Goken Goken and Gotetsu was um pretty good. Um was Gotetsu was pretty good too. Um the story, of course, I think this. Is, I think the story. The story, of course, is this is, of course, Ryu and Ken, Ryu and Ken's journey and training before they enter the very, very first Street Fighter. Before they enter the very, very first Street Fighter tournament, this this also sheds some light and sheds some light on Akuma's past, which I thought was um, which I thought was um pretty, which I thought was pretty good too and pretty interesting, um, too, um. Yeah, this web series was awesome. I hope they, yeah, um, the guy, the, the people who said they made this, they said it, that if this web series was, um, if this web series was popular, they would, um, make Street Fighter 2, The World Warrior with Guile and, uh, Chun-Li, with Guile and, uh, Chun-Li, um, and I would love to see that. The only problem I have with this web series is that, um, they should have made more than 12 web episodes. They should have made more than 12 episodes because if this is based on Street Fighter 1 and Alpha, then all the characters in the original Street Fighters from Street Fighter 1 should have been in this series. I'm talking um, Mike, who would become Bal, who would later, who I think is a prototype of Balrog. Um, um, I keep forgetting his name, but he was a prototype of, um, he was a prototype of Cody from Final Fight and Alpha, but I keep forgetting his name, um, um, the, the ninja guy who would later be, who, who's a prototype of Vega, Gotetsu, well, Gotetsu, he was here, but all those characters, Aiden and Sagat, all, and Eagle, the guy with the sticks, all those guys should have been in this, um, Series two should be more episodes with this if there if this is based on the Street Fighter one and Alpha um series. There was lot that there was lots that took there was lots of that happened between Street Fighter one and Street Fighter um two and that really wasn't here. You mostly just saw Ryu Ken, Gotetsu, Goken, and I think Guile made a cameo here. But other than that, this series was um awesome. Um, I've always wanted uh, I always wanted a better better um street fighter live action film but a uh, live action web series this may be the way to go for video game ad adaptations from now on i would love to see an adaptation of the snk games like fatal fury art of fighting the king of fighters and world heroes if the, the, this is this could be really good if the, i think this is the way to go for video game adaptations because it's hard to sell hollywood these ideas or sell these ideas to the public to the um public to the public nowadays, but um, yeah. All right. Well, this this was my short review of Assassin's Fist. Pretty awesome series so far.